Hi guys, what do you think of my pepper dehydrating method? I just had a handful of these Thai chili peppers. I think they're called Bangkok peppers and I got them from uh, rareseeds.com which is Baker's Creek and um, they are ripening just a few at a time. So I had a handful of peppers uh, that I picked about 10 days ago and I just put them on a heating vent and it's acting as a dehydrator. It's really not enough for me to get my dehydrator going. So, um, it, you know, as long as your floor is clean, you can put your colander right over a heating vent. And as that weather gets cooler, the heat's going to kick on at night. So that is how I have been dehydrating my peppers. These are for my son who loves to cook with hot chili peppers. But today's video is about how to get your peppers to ripen before it gets cold. So there's a couple of methods that I'm going to try because I'm worried that they're still going to be green on the vine before that cold weather sets in. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. Here is my beautiful pepper plant. And as you can see, it's loaded with these beautiful peppers. They're shiny and green, but guys, they're not ripe. And it is starting to get really chilly at night, and I have to do something to make these ripen faster. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. It's really loaded with peppers. So I'd hate to lose that, and the best way to handle it is to cut off that growing tip and redirect that plant's energy into ripening the fruit that's already on there. So I'm just going to take a snip right there, cut the growing tip off all of the branches, and uh, stop the new peppers from forming because at this point they don't have enough time to develop before it freezes. So look, here's a flower, guys. That's going to turn into a pepper. But we actually don't want this whole area here to be developing. So let's give those other peppers a chance to ripen. Let me come over here and trim it over here as well. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to film with my left hand. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off all of the growing tips and redirect that energy. I can even just come in here and snip off little flowers. But really, you want to get those growing tips off. Another very important pepper ripening tip is to take off all of your ripe peppers so that the plant can work on these peppers back here, which haven't ripened yet. Now, I was just going to leave these on because they're damaged, and I was just going to let them dry outside for seed. But I can still do that. It just had a little bit of something came along and nibbled it and then maybe decided it was too hot to finish. Look at that. But if I remove that pepper, let it dry inside for seeds, then I'm going to allow that plant to work on ripening the other peppers which are not ripe yet. So the third, the other tip I can give you is remove any ripe peppers so that nothing is being redirected away from the ripening process of the others. Let me pick those up and I'll bring them in and save them for seed. Aren't these mums pretty? I think they're just so pretty. I have those there and then a couple over here. And guys, my marigolds are still going strong. Look at that. There's a whole bank of them along the back edge here. I just think they're so marvelous. So, of course, the frost will take them eventually in a couple weeks, but I can still enjoy them now. And the second tip I can give you for ripening your peppers before the frost hits would be to make sure they're getting the maximum amount of sunlight that they can. Peppers need sunlight to ripen. So I have dug up my peppers from my partly shaded garden in the back and brought them here to the patio 
in containers so that they can get a full day's sun. This is a sunny area for me in my yard. And uh, maybe that's a lesson for next year to plant them in the full sun in the first place. And then maybe I won't be in this position. But at any rate, this planting them in containers works for me because I am going to try to bring them in and overwinter them so I can get a head start with my peppers next year. But of course they will be severely pruned back before I do this. But the other reason that putting them in containers at this point is a good idea is if there is a really cold night, I can bring them in and out as needed. And guys, by the way, isn't this chrysanthemum gorgeous? I know it's not a mum tour, but look at that beautiful rust color. I just love it. I found it at Lowe's last week. But back to my peppers. This is where they're going to stay for the rest of the season until they come in. And hopefully by cutting off the growing tips and moving them to a sunnier location, I'm going to help those peppers ripen before the frost. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time.